probably going to start off with that actually. Then I'll get used to use a belt to put it around here. So we've made this up. It's high tension uh, bungee cord. A wee bit more forgiving than a belt, but not much in it. Now, um, we're going to warm up as well. We're going to use the um, alignment stick in our belt. Through here and here, not have it sticking out too much, just sticking out in front of us. So we can really drill this. Try and get that over here as much as possible and have this on. Basically, you must have used it to try and think how you done it. Certainly going to be an interesting one. Right, so I can get it. That's it there. That's what we've got. <coughs> so now we are oh, kind of locked in. Very, very uncomfortable. It's a bit better. Right, start with it's just a gentle warm up. And obviously, when your arm's in like this and you're standing in here, the only way you can swing is this way, you see. So it's got to be. This is what Hogan did. So, you can see where this would go, so uh, we're standing in close, we're getting the pivot matching up and we're getting our arm, so we're keeping the hands out, and the only way to get back through is that, because it obviously locks your arm in. And Hogan used to stand on the range for hours with us, and hit endless amounts of shops where he's used to see Hogan drill like this he used to so this is what Hogan used to drill you can see the clubs going out hands are coming in and this is happening here at impact so we will continue to warm up like this keeping our hands in and keeping this out and it's matching the two up something you can make up you could use a belt if you've got a big enough one but this does the same thing so it keeps everything it's got, the only way you can get square is moving everything square it's very much that you hear a difference there when you really it so you're trying to get it one piece but you're trying to get yourself in close keep your hands out black really like that see how powerful that is it's only just a little short shot I cannot move this arm will not come out this is what Hogan did so if you see here when I'm swinging here, so I'm in, my hands are staying out, and then the only way to get square is that. So that's what we're drilling.
don't know how many uh, balls Hogan would hit like this, but I would imagine Hogan being the kind of guy he was, probably hundreds. So we will hit a few like this and then we'll gradually try and build up to maybe a bit longer in the swing and see how it feels. But certainly I can't really, I can't see, I wonder how far I can get. I don't think I'll be able to get that far. I could maybe get it there. And then it restricts your follow through, so I see how far I can get back with it and keep myself together and close. Yeah. That feels uh, obviously a lot more connected. Yes, it feels uncomfortable. It's going to feel uncomfortable. I can't. This is locked in. So the only way I can get square is moving my pivot and body together. So that's what Hogan practiced for hours, I think. And the fact that his hands were out in the club was hands in, club out. Bit heavy, but sussed it off this mat. It's very difficult. And what I might do is put a ball right in close, so that I've got to miss that ball in close, and I've got to swing up with my hands out. You see why Hogan practiced like this. Really does, really does. No, that's bad. That's when you get out of sync. So you can uh, put a little bit of weight on. You might say, what does that do? But actually, we've seen a minute, it gives you a bit of weight to move. It's all these things, that's what we'll be doing. So it's hands in, club out, elbow in. Try and make a good contact. Yes, it looks ungainly until you get into the swing end.
아침에 그것도 얼마나 바빠도 Yeah. 